good. So the air, air hose is off. I go over here. Start this one. Good. That one's loose. Cracked. And then this one over here. Let me get a good angle. I also just changed the oil today, but I guess I should have did a video on that, but uh, don't know that it matters too much. Anyways, here, I'll just take my Milwaukee. Good. I'll put this in there. There's one. halfway through it kind of like there's like a gap there so it's like a little bit difficult to actually keep the uh, spinning going so. it can get a little difficult yeah whatever I'll get that one later Great. And this one in the back here. I don't know what's up with this one, but maybe I can just take it off by hand. Yeah, it's pretty loose. This is annoying. I usually don't use uh, power tools, but I'm not really using a lot of torque, and I've set the spec to pretty much a screwdriver spec, so. It shouldn't be uh, any issue. Okay, so once this last bolt is all out, come on, you. Another thing I want to mention too is that this car's got about 86, 87,000 kilometers on it. We're in Canada up here, so we use a metric system to deal with it. Um, I don't know what that's probably like. 55, 50,000 kilometer or miles, something like that. Anyways, so here's your airbox. Now you can take it off, put it over here, and there's your air filter. There's your engineer filter. A little bit more room there. Um, so yeah, this I just thought you know on a whim. I was like I haven't changed it yet. This isn't even my car; it's my fiance's. But having a look at it, look at how gross that is. It's all on the fibers and everything. It's filthy. There was a few bugs in there earlier, but it's all like kind of like matted in there too. It looks like oil almost. So what I'm gonna do is replace it with this new Fram filter. I just picked up at a local auto body shop or auto parts store, and uh, it should be fine just to go in there. I think it's the other way actually. All right, fits like a charm. Anyways, usually when you do stuff like this, is gonna improve your performance and uh, gas mileage as well. I'm sure there's a few other things too. I'm not exactly, like I said, I'm not a mechanic, but hopefully, uh, hopefully we get a little bit better mileage out of it. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to throw this back on there. Move this hose out of the way. And just reverse the uh, steps that you just did to install it. And you put the screws back in and uh, to reattach the air hose. I'll just do that now anyways. Tighten down that bolt or that nut, and then the rest of these screws as well, and then you're pretty much done, guys. It's not hard at all. This is going to improve your gas mileage and everything too. Um, make your engine last a little longer too. Okay, so hope you enjoy the video. Take care.